Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to do a quick review here for you. Um, I just watched this movie uh, over the weekend, or maybe it was... Yeah, I think it was Saturday or Sunday night. And it's called Bernie. And it's about this uh, kind of a really nice, affable guy named Bernie uh, Title. What's his name? T.D. Bernie Teed. And uh, Jack Black plays that character. He's uh, a mortician, or a mortician's assistant in the town of Carthage, Texas. And he's basically uh, one of the most popular people in town. Everybody loves him. He's really, really nice. He's very friendly. And um, uh, the other character in the story is Shirley MacLaine, which is basically the complete opposite of him. Everybody hates her. She's really, really mean. Um, basically, like I said, the complete antithesis to Bernie. And um, they meet in the story when her husband dies and he ends up uh, working at the funeral and he makes it his business or his uh, goal to make her or get under her skin being nice and making her realize that you should be nice to people and whatever and eventually she lets him in to her life and um, which is a big deal actually in town she was stone cold to everybody but Bernie obviously being so nice and affable was able to get under her skin and uh, she's nice to him and treats him nice and she has a lot of money so she starts taking him on vacations, taking him on trips, buying things for him, they go out to eat, they do all sorts of things and it's really a weird relationship that they have. It's a relationship, it's not a sexual relationship but I'm sure it's hinted at in the in the 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 way this movie's filmed that they're talking to people in town and they it was a weird, they, they considered it a weird relationship that uh, it was really weird that this guy in his 30s or late 30s, early 40s, I forget, and she's in her 60s, I believe, having this weird relationship. Um, but to anyway, it lasts for a couple of years, and by the end of it, though, she is overbearing him. Uh, he isn't getting to hang out with any of his friends or do all the things he used to do, and uh, it gets to the point where something happens, and, uh, um, let's see, I'm not really sure where to go without spoiling with that, but, um, it's believed, she, she hasn't seen for, uh, from, she hasn't seen again for about eight, nine months, and he keeps saying that she's in the hospital, or that she's in a hospice, or that she's had a stroke, or that she's out of town, he takes over her accounts, because he had access to everything, because they did everything together, so a lot of people didn't, they just assumed she was, she was fine, but was she? Um, like, anyway, that's, I don't want to go too much into it, you should watch the movie, it was really actually decent, I thought, I, I'm, I had this in my collection for two months, I think now, I bought it at uh, Barnes and Noble, not Barnes and Noble, Blockbuster, for about five or six dollars, and, um, I just never got around to watching it. You guys can watch this on Netflix right now, actually. I'm pretty sure it's on there. But uh, I recommend watching it. It was a very good performance from Jack Black. Uh, a bit more toned down than his other fare. Shirley Claim was great. Um, I'd say she's only in about half of the movie, uh, for obvious reasons, you know, for story-wise. And uh, Matt McConaughey, I would say, is only in about a third of the movie. He plays the district attorney who is trying to find out what happened, or and, and the group of people who try to find out what happened. Um... Um, like I said, I don't want to give it too much away. I don't know if it's, like I said, she kind of goes missing, and people don't know where she is, and a lot of people don't even like her anyway, so they wouldn't even give a shit if she was dead, but uh, it's one of those things that, is she, is she actually gone? We, we it's, uh, you should give it a shot. I, like I, I said, I wish I watched it a lot sooner than I did. Um, so it's been sitting in my collection. Um, um, this is kind of a shoddy review. But anyway, um, I thought that these two were great. Obviously, Jack Black is the star of the show. She was very good. Uh, Matthew McConaughey was fine. He was serviceable, but he was really not in it all that much. Um, just near the end. And I um, can't think of any other main characters in the movie. There was a woman in here that reminded me of Paula Dean, like, incredibly. You know, anyone who knows who Paula Dean is, she's on, like, the cooking channel or whatever the hell. She's, like, a southern, like, butter-eating monster or something. But it was really funny, I thought. I laughed a couple times every time I saw her on screen, that woman. Um, but um, I also liked the way this was shot. It was shot in a pseudo-1950s 
documentary type setting because like it started out with him talking to town folk and talking about the uh, talking about the character of Bernie, talking about um, Marjorie Margie Shirley McLean's character and uh, about their relationship and how it unfolded. Um, yeah, the cinematography was decent. The direction was good. I think it's only about ninety minutes, so it's not like over long. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Definitely worth uh, watching it on Netflix. Like so, that's you know it's free. But uh, I would probably pay five bucks for this. I did pay five bucks for it. So, just single disc. I quickly checked out the um, special features. There's actually quite a few deleted scenes that I didn't get to look at, um, and obviously previews. The feature read was um, were all kind of quick, and uh, but you know they were okay. But uh, the movie itself, I, I enjoyed. I'd probably give it a um, Oh, I don't know. Seven. Seven and a half out of ten. Watchable. Decent. Based on a true story. I honestly... I saw this tagline, a story so unbelievable it must be true. I thought that was just a um, tagline. But it's a tr it's based on a true story. Which is pretty cool. I don't know if it's loosely based on it or not, but it's... Got true events involved in it. But, um... Yeah, I liked it. I, I recommend it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is just like uh, like I said, it's a late night review. I figured out what the heck I throw one out there. But um, thanks for watching, guys. I plan to do more of these in the future. Hopefully, they'll be better than this one. This is a little uh, rash and quick, but um, uh, I recommend Bernie. It's a decent movie. Um, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I uh, will see you all later. See ya.